Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Sail Agrawal. I'm a final year undergraduate student at IIT Gandhinagar. I'm also going to join DE Show as a software developer in a few months. For those of you who are watching me for the first time on this channel, I try to make videos that could help you in DSA preparation. I personally have done a lot of preparation at my time and I have faced a lot of challenges which I'm sure you guys would be facing. So it is my best try to make such videos which could help you overcome your difficulties. This video is for all those who are in their fourth or sixth semester. So why am I making this video is because if you are in your fourth semester or sixth semester and your aim is to get a good SD internship or to get a good SD placement and if you have not started your preparation then it is high time you will have to start your preparation because if you look at the rest of the engineering colleges in India most of the colleges have their placement or internship season starting from July, August or September. That means you don't have more than four, five, six months, right? So you need to prepare properly in the right way. And in this video, I will tell you the right path which you should follow, which will increase your chances for getting a good internship or a placement offer as a software developer. If you find this video helpful, do like the video, subscribe to the channel and share with all your friends who are in fourth semester or sixth semester and are looking forward for a SD placement or internship and please feel free to comment down any query any doubt you have I will be more than happy to answer you and you can also comment down any suggestion which you have for me like what kind of topic do you want me to make a video on you can comment down that so without any further delay let's start the video so I'm assuming that you guys by now know the basics of a language the language can be any of the following C++ Java Python or JavaScript you guys know the basics and I'm also assuming that you guys know some basics of data structures like arrays linked list tags and queues okay so now if you have this much of knowledge what is required there are three things which you guys should need to focus upon i will tell you all the three things which you need to focus upon in detail so please watch the video till the end it will be very helpful trust me first is that you guys need to be very strong at dsa so if you're aiming for big techs still many interviews are you know uh, centered around dsa they ask you a good number of dsa problems a good quality of dsa problems to check your logic building to check your problem Problem solving now many of you guys would tell that DSA is not required uh, in this era because uh, you know uh, if you have skills you can get a job and that is true I'm not denying that fact if you are aiming for a startup then you need to have the knowledge of those tech stack which the startup is working upon but if you are aiming for big techs the you know the interview is centered around DSA they ask you a lot of DSA problems they ask you a lot of other stuff which I'm going to tell which you need to prepare right so the first thing is to prepare your DSA well let's say if you have five to six months left then I would say that you guys should solve at least three to four problems every day so please focus on this word every day every day means you need to be consistent consistency is the key consistency is the most important factor which makes a person from average to brilliant so if you will not be consistent sorry to say you will face a lot of problems during your internship placement season trust me after six months you will get a huge reward if you will be consistent for this next six months okay i have told you that you should be strong at dsa so how will you get stronger at dsa so let's say if you don't know a particular dsa topic what you can do is you need to learn that dsa topic so how will you learn you can either take a paid dsa course or you can also check out the free resources which are available on youtube so i have made a video on the best free dsa resources which are available right now for every topic i've listed down the best free dsa resources so you can watch that video and and use the resources which I've mentioned in that video. I mean, those resources are the best in the business right now. You can watch that and you can learn a topic. So let's say you have learned a DSA topic. Now you need to solve a lot of problems. So how can you do that? Go on lead code, go on geeks for geeks, put a tag of that topic and solve 20, 30, 40 problems of that particular topic. And this way you will be able to practice that topic very well. Okay. So this is the way you should practice problems every day. Now, one more part of DSA preparation is to give contests. So I have made a dedicated video on contest. You can watch that. It will help you a lot. Ideally, you should give at least two contests a week. Trust me, contests will help you a lot during the coding round. So in this way, you should uh, study a topic from either a paid course or from a free resource, uh, then solve a lot of problems for that particular topic. And if you want to check how good you are at DSA, how good you are at problem solving, contests are the best way to do that. In the next five to six months, you can practice in 
this manner and trust me it will help you a lot the second part is that you need to get your resume shortlisted right so how will you get your resume shortlisted it can happen only when your resume is different from others how will your resume look different from others so first point is either you are a great computer programmer uh, like you are a candid master on code forces or a master on code forces which I'm sure you are not because you're watching this video and you are in a trouble you have only five to six months left and you have not started DSA preparation you don't have projects right that is why you're watching this video so the first option is gone the second option is to have some decent projects in your resume so my advice would be as soon as your fourth semester ends or your sixth semester ends and as soon as your vacation starts please devote some time in making projects you can pick up any technology it can be either web development, app development, machine learning, blockchain, cyber security, any computer science field related technology, pick that and make at least two projects on that particular tech stack and one more thing please don't make common projects which everyone else makes because that will not give you an edge over others that will not make you distinguished from others right you need to stand out you need to be different from others so you will have to think upon some projects which are different which are uncommon to try to make those i know that you don't have much time left you will not be able to make good projects but this is the situation right we will have to put hard work every day we will have to put up the grind right we will have to be consistent so the for the next six months promise yourself that you will be consistent so start your dsa and as soon as your vacation starts please uh, devote around one month in making two good projects two decent projects you can either take help of a paid course or you can either take help of some youtube resources that will help you a lot uh, and please make sure that when you are you know developing your project please don't stop your dsa preparation because dsa is the main weapon on which you are relying because you cannot make fantastic or beautiful projects in one or two months right you need a lot of time but a good amount of dsa can be done in five to six months so your main target should be dsa and when you're doing uh, your development side by side you have to solve three or four problems of dsa and once you have made at least two projects on any particular tech stack then you will have those projects as a good tool which you can present in front of the interviewer you can add those projects in your resume and let's say if you have made some decent projects in your college uh, you can also add that so i have also made a video on my resume which got shortlisted at disha you can watch that video by clicking here uh, and you will also get a sense of how to make a resume how to put uh, your projects inside that what to write what not to write right so we'll get a good sense do watch that video so the next thing is again very very important is to learn the computer fundamental subjects like operating system computer networks database management system and object oriented programming these are the subjects on which there are many questions asked in interviews so you will have to learn these you will have to go through all the subjects and you should have decent knowledge of these because these are used when you work in a company so that is why interviewers ask you questions related to these subjects so either you can take a paid course for these subjects or you can also look upon free resources uh, articles uh, whichever helps you whichever suits you the best videos articles tutorials or paid course anything which helps you uh, is fine for these subjects plus please don't ignore these subjects if the interviewer asks you a question on these subjects and you don't know that it gives a very bad impression and it is not very difficult to learn these subjects it is quite easy but the thing is you need to give time so when will you give time so after you are done with your projects i would suggest that start preparing for these subjects and alongside you are also you know uh, continuing your dsa preparation so this should be the path start with your dsa preparation when your vacation starts start developing your project as soon as the project is completed start your cs fundamental subjects and alongside dsa preparation is going on what do i mean by dsa preparation is you're practicing three to four problems every day either on lead code either on code forces or you are giving contests okay contests are a must so yeah this was the complete roadmap for the next five to six months which you can follow if you have not started please start and whatever i have said uh, i have used my experience i have seen many people do follow in this path and if you will follow this path consistently trust me it will help you a lot in your longer run so yeah this was all about the video we will meet in the next one till then keep growing keep learning and stay healthy